The next guys, what if this tigot is followed by ni and armium? Or yung mga letters na shit, sang shit, jit, shit, and tit. Paano pag nasusundan sila ng neon? So, pare-pares lang yan guys, letter na yan. Pag nasundan sila ng neon, or ng meon, nagiging n sounds lang sila. Okay, lahat yan. Okay, so for example, let's say, uh, yung tata pa rin lagyan natin ng nun. Okay, magiging, yung uh, tigot sa baba, magiging sound sila ng n or neon, magiging tan. Okay, tan nun, tan nun. Okay, tan nun. Not tat nun. So, kahit bigas naman siya ng ganun, guys, medyo magi magiging mahirap yung pagbigas. Okay? Magiging tan nun instead of tat nun. Okay? So, another example is yung tot plus ni. Okay? Tot plus ni. Yung shoot dyan, magiging sound lang din niya ng N. So, magiging ton ni. Ton ni. Okay? So, another example. Let's say this one. Pot na mu. Okay, pot na mu. So, yung uh, chiot natin sa final consonant, nagiging N. Magiging? Magiging? Pon na mu. Pon na mu. Okay? So, uh, next example, let's say this one. Okay? Uh, myot plus myong. Okay? Myot plus myong. So, this time, yung last, uh, yung pachim natin is chiot. Okay? Magiging? Yung chiot, kahit chiot siya, magiging N lang din yung sound niya. Okay? Magiging myon Myong. Okay. So, pag walang kasunod, these letters magiging letter T lang yan. Right? So, yung una, tat. Pangalawa, tot. Yung pangatlo, pot. And yung pangapat, myot. Pero pag nasundan sila ng niyan or myong, nagiging N yung sounds nila. Okay? Magiging myot, myong. Magiging myon, myong. Myon, myong. Myon, myong. <laughs> okay? Nakakabulul. Okay? So, last example for this one, guys. Yung, let's say, yung kut plus nada. Kun nada. Okay, to finish. Kut nada. So, yung tiyot na sa magiging N. So, anong magiging uh, pronunciation? Magiging kun nada. Kun nada. Okay, not kut nada. It's, it's kun nada. Kun nada. Okay? So, next. So, yung tiyot natin, paano pag sundan sila ng, hiyot, ng letter na hiyot or yung H sounds or Ah, kahit balikta rin na natin sila, kahit hiyot plus tigot or tigot plus hiyot, ano mangyari? So, magiging sounds like tiyot sila or yung th. Okay? So, for example, this word, palgata. Okay? Palgatata. Ibig sabihin nito is to be read. No? And since yung, ah, yung sa middle na syllable natin, nag-end siya sa hiyot and then followed by ta. So, Uh, yung combination na yan, hiyot plus ta magiging ta. Aspirated na T or yung TH magiging palgata. 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 Okay? So, another, another example, let's say this uh, word, mat plus hyong. Mat hyong. So, anong basa dyan? So, yung tigot natin, plus hiyot magiging tiot. Magiging TH. Okay? Magiging matong. Okay? Matong. But, ah, uh, Uh, take note here, guys, it's yo, yong, yong. But, uh, mas maririnig mo, instead na mat, matong, magiging matong lang yan. Okay? Matong. Okay? So, next, guys, what if this tigot, this letter D or T, is masunda naman siya ng vowel with E na, ah, uh, with E. Okay? E yung plus E na vowel. Ano mangyari dyan? Okay? Instead of D, ang magiging basa dyan, guys, is G. Okay? So, parang J-I. G. Okay? So, for example, this word, het plus tut plus E. So, anong magiging basa? Okay? Kung susundan nating rules, magiging he du G. Not he du D. It's he du G. He du G. Okay? And another example, this one, mat plus E. Anong magiging basa dyan? So, kayo nga, guys? Yes, it's maji. 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 Okay? So, what if, guys, this tigot is followed by he? He. H plus I. So, magiging chi naman yung pronunciation sa kanya. So, sa elevator, guys, pag sumay, uh, sumay ka, ay, pag nagsarado yung pinto, instead na tada yung maririnig mo, it's tathida. It's tachimnida. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nagko-close yung door. Okay? Tat plus hida magiging tachida. Tachida. 
Okay? Not tathida. Tathida. Okay? So, next letter, guys. Let's say yung meum natin and yung. Okay? Yung sounds ng M tsaka A, N, G. Pag nasusuntan sila ng letter na real or yung R or L sounds, yung R or yung L sounds na yan nagiging N then. So, maraming case na ganyan, guys. Yung R nagiging N. Yung real magiging niyon. So, for example, uh, let's say the word uh, tam plus riok. Okay? Tam riok. Tam riok. So, since yung first syllable natin nag-end sa miyong, and yung second syllable natin nag-start sa consonant na real, so, susundan natin yung rule na to, magiging tam and then yung real magiging niyon magiging tam nyok not tam riok okay tam nyok okay so another example is this one so jong plus ru yung first syllable natin nag-end siya yung patching niya is iyong and then followed by the uh, syllable na nag-uumpisa sa real which is yung ru so ano magiging basa dyan magiging jong no jong no jong no Okay. So, yeah. So, next, guys, let's say uh, yung letter na P. Okay. P. Yung, uh, yung letter na may sound ng B or P. Okay. And uh, just like tung ibang mga letters, guys, merong ibang letters na pag ginagamit mo sila as a fi a patchim, uh, pare-pares lang sila ng sounds with this uh, P. Okay. Mag P lang sila lahat. Pare-pares. P as a patchim. Okay. And if these letters is are followed by Uh, yung limang letters na nadodobol, yung kiyok, tigot, piyot, shiot, and chiot. So, alam ko, familiar na kayo dyan. Yung mga letters na yan na nadodobli ulit, na transify. Okay, naging sang. Sang, kiyok, sang, tigot, sang, kiyok, sang, shiot, and sang, chiot. Okay? So, for example, pop plus word cup. Pop, cup. So, ano magiging basa? So, unang syllable natin, nag-end sila sa piyot. Ibig sabihin, yung susunod na syllable magiging tensify. Okay, matetensify sila. So, pop, cup. Pop, cup. Okay, pop, cup. So, ibig sabihin ng pop, cup is uh, presyo ng uh, pagkain. <laughs> okay, pop, cup. Okay, yung presyo ng kinain mo. Okay, so another guys, let's say this one. Pop plus suit. Okay, so this one is, I think this is rice cooker. Pero hindi naman mahalaga muna guys yung mga meaning. Okay? Ang mahalaga is maintindihan nyo yung mga pagbabagong nangyayari. <laughs> okay? So, pop plus suit is magiging pop and then magiging intensify yung S. Magiging sang shiot, magiging pop suit. Okay? Pop suit. Pop suit. Pop suit. Okay? And then, next one, this word, chap ta. Okay? Chap plus ta, chap magiging Intensify yung sa, uh, tigot natin. Magiging sang tigot. Magiging chap ta. Chap ta. Okay? And another example. Let's say, uh, chap plus chi. Magiging chap chi. Intensify din yung chi natin. Okay? Chap chi. Chap chi. Okay? And then last example for this one. Ship pun. Okay? Ship plus pun. Ship pun. 10 minutes. Ship pun. Ship pun. Ship pun. Okay? So, next guys, what if these letters, yung P up natin, and yung mga katulad niya na letters, paano pag nasundan sila din ng mga letters na neon and meum? Okay? Yung neon and meum, guys, yan yung mga nasal sounds. Remember that. Okay? So, yung P up natin, and the rest ng letters, yung mga P up, and then yung combination ng real and P up, and then combination ng real plus P up, and then yung combination ng P up and shield. Nagiging lahat sila, nagiging sound ng M when they are followed by Nian or Mew. Okay? So, this one, guys, yung favorite natin. So, dito na lumabas. So, yung Hapnida natin, guys. Hapnida. So, kaya naging Hamnida yung basa dahil sa rule na to. Okay? So, yung Hap is nagtatapos siya sa consonant na Pup and then followed by Nian sa Ni. So, magiging Mew yung uh, sound ng Pup. Magiging Hamnida. So, kaya naging Hamnida. So, another one is yung sum nida. So, ganun din. Okay? Yung sup natin, ending with a beop, and then followed by nida, magiging sum nida. Okay? So, another example. So, let's say, uh, let's say, chip plus man. So, ano mang magiging basa dito? It's magiging chim man. Chim man. Chim man. Chim man. Okay? Chip man. Ano yung chim man yun. Okay? So, another, it's kup plus nun. 
to coop. So yung huling uh, bawal natin, ah, uh, huling question na natin is period pa rin. And then, with, pag followed by siya nun, nun ng niya na sound, magiging kum nun. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, kum nun, sorry. Okay? Kum nun. So next guys, what if this PUP is followed by, by real? Ay yung R or L sound. So PUP plus real, ano mangyayari? Okay? Yung PUP mo magiging M sound. And then yung real mo magiging N sound. So pareha silang mababago. Okay? So bakit pa ginagawa ito ng Korean? Kasi uh, para mas mapadali nila yung pagpo-pronounce. Okay? Hindi naman dahil sa tinatamad sila Pero minsan kasi uh, medyo matigas yung dila And uh, by doing this, this mga, uh, these rules Napapadali nila yung pag-pronounce okay? So kahit na uh, let's say isang foreigner galing sa isang uh, uh, country Katulad natin Pilipinas And then pumunta tayo sa Korea Gamit lang yung mga baon na pinag-aralan natin sa mga textbooks so, At hindi natin alam yung mga pronunciation rules na ganito Medyo hindi mahihirapan silang intindihin tayo kahit Korean sila. Bakit? Kasi maraming magkakasunog uh, na sounds. Okay? At pag nagsilita tayo ng uh, ganito, and lalo na pag ginamit pa natin yung mga Roma romanization, magiging uh, tunog robot tayo. So, lalong hindi tayo maintindihan. So, much better na alam natin yung mga rules of pronunciation. Okay? So, yeah. So, next example, guys. It's, uh, let's say, um, ip plus ryok. Okay? Ip plus rio. Okay? So, first syllable natin nag-end sa piyop and then followed by rio. So, yung piyop magiging M and then yung real magiging N. So, ang magiging basa is im nyok. Okay? Im nyok. Im nyok. <laughs> okay? So, another example, let's say hap plus ri plus chok. Hap, ri, chok. So, ano magiging basa? Okay? So, yung hap magiging ham. Yung ri, magiging ni, and yung chok as is, ham ni jok. Okay, ham ni jok. Okay, so what if this beep is followed by hit? So, ano mangyayari? Magiging ph yung sound, magiging p up yung sound. Okay, so magiging, so for example, let's say, uh, ip plus hak. Okay, ip hak. Magiging ip hak, ip hak. Okay, ip hak. Okay, another example, let's say, yung Uh, verb na kup plus hada to be urgent na kup hada magiging kup hada kup hada okay kup hada okay so anyway uh, katulad ng ibang letters pag bigasin mo to ng mabilis kup plus hada kup hada kup hada kup hada okay so automatic naman niya magiging pa so don't worry too much about this one kup hada iphak iphak okay so next letter guys yung letter na chiyot Okay, chiyot. Yung letter J or yung T din. J or T or CH. Okay? So, this one guys, pag nasusundan sila ng, uh, ng, ng letter na hiyot or kahit magkabaligtad. So, hiyot plus chiyot. Chiyot plus hiyot. Okay? Nagiging, ang sound nila is chiyot. Yung chi. Okay? Chi. Okay? So, for example, this word mat plus hida. Mat hida. So, ano magiging mangyayari? Yung chiyot plus hiyot magiging chi, magiging machida. 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 And another example, sat plus chi. Sat chi. Magiging sat chi. Sat chi. Sat chi. Okay? So next letter guys, yung tiyot natin. Tiyot. Yung letter th natin. So this one guys, pag nasusundan to ng i, magiging chi din siya. Okay? Tiyot plus i na vowel chi yung magiging basa. So, for example, let's say, uh, this one, put plus ida. Okay, so, sa so first uh, syllable natin, pag uh, bigasin mo yung solo lang siya, put lang yan. Put. Put. Letter T. Okay? Pero pag dagdagan mo siya ng bawal na I, magiging put chi. Put chi da. Okay? Put chi da. Okay? So, another example, yung cut plus I. Okay? This is not cut T. Okay? Magiging Kachi. 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 Okay? So, last letter, guys, is yung hit. Okay? Yung hit, guys, kung matatandaan nyo, uh, pinag-aralan natin last time na pag yung hit is napapagit na siya sa vowel, uh, almost hindi mo maririg na napapronounce siya. Okay? Napaka, uh, almost no sound talaga. 
Okay? And dadagdagan natin siya. So, uh, if this hiyot is nasa gitna ng vowel, hindi na pronounce And if this hiyot is, uh, susundan niya yung mga letter ng niyon, miyom, iyong, and then real. Yung mga letters na yan, pag nauna sila, and then hiyot, yung hiyot natin, ganun din. Almost no sounds. So, sa Korea, yung hiyot talaga, almost hindi siya pinopronounce. Or kung pinopronounce man nila, medyo, ah, uh, Uh, mahina lang. And usually, yung mga nasa first uh, or initial letter sa isang syllable lang sila. Okay? So, for example, guys, uh, kanina sinabi natin na puk plus han. Okay? Puk han. So, that is North Korea. So, this one, nam plus han. Nam han, ibig sabihin niya is South Korea, guys. Nam han. Okay? So, kung hindi natin ipropronounce, kung isusunda natin yung rules na to, magiging naman. Okay, naman, not namhan, naman. Okay, naman. Okay, and another example, the word for to work is il plus hada. Okay, il hada, il hada, il hada. Pero maririnig mo pag asasabihin dito yan, ire or irada, irada, irada. Okay, almost hindi na pronounce yung hit natin or yung H sound. So another example, let's say the word tang hada. Tanghada, 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 tanghada. Okay? Tanghada. As if, guys, yung iyong mo naging NG plus A. Tanghada. <laughs> okay? Tanghada. 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 Okay? And next one, let's say the word for nurse is kan plus husa. Maging kan husa, kan husa, kan husa. Not kan husa. Kan husa. Okay? So, dyan, guys, nagtatapos yung uh, rules of pronunciation natin. Kung so, Uh, merong mga exemption ga- dyan, guys. So, for now, kahit hindi muna natin pag-aralan. Okay? And uh, remember, guys, na hindi mo ka lang i-absorb lahat ng information na nasa video na to all at once. So, kahit balik-balikan mo siya. Okay? So, natural lang yun, guys. So, ang ginagawa natin, mga learners, para ma-absorb natin kung ano yung mga pinag-aralan natin, syempre, ang sagot is yung repetitive listening or repetitive uh, studying. Paulit-ulit po siyang pag-aaralan. Okay? At dahil dyan, guys, magbibigay ako ng sukche or homework para sa inyo. So, ang gagawin nyo, guys, sasagutan nyo mga to and then, i-comment nyo sa comment section natin ng video na to. Okay? So, next lesson, sasagutan natin and then, check natin kung magiging tama lahat ng sagot nyo. Okay? So, thank you for watching, guys. See you again next time. Bye-bye!